Meanwhile, leaders from the European Union have been holding tough discussions as they look for unity on how to deal with China and the United States. At a summit on Tuesday, which continues on Wednesday, leaders of the EU gathered at the BRDO castle in Slovenia. It was their first meeting since June, and issues such as how to grapple with the fallout from the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan, a seething France after its quote-unquote betrayal by Australia, the UK and the US over nuclear submarines are on the agenda. The key meeting also comes on the eve of an EU Western Balkan summit in which countries to the bloc's east will seek assurances that they will one day be admitted to the European Union. To be clear, that is a continuation of the same summit. France is still seeing red over Australia's decision last month to cancel a French submarine deal worth tens of billions of dollars in favour of a US offer. After the US allegiance proved unreliable, according to France, Emmanuel Macron is pushing Europe to stand up for itself and says that it needs to keep working in good faith with America. We had disagreements and we can put everything on the table. In this regard, we have convergence points with the USA and we also might have differences. And it is important that Europe speaks with a voice that is its own voice. Pressing for further clarification and re-engagement, Emmanuel Macron says he'll hold talks with President Joe Biden on the sidelines of the G20 in Italy this month. We will see. I, I just believe in, in facts. I do hope, I do think it's feasible. I do think it's uh, more productive for both of us. I will see. And I think we, we scheduled to, to discuss together mid-October. We will catch up during the G20. And I think it would be the right occasion to see how we can re-engage very concretely. Ahead of the EU Leaders' Summit in Slovenia, US Secretary of State Antony Blinken met with Macron in Paris. The US State Department said in a statement that there was a common agreement between France and the US to deepen and strengthen coordination. A State Department official admitted there was a lot of hard work to be done. After over four hours of talks, European Council Chief Charles Michel said in a statement, drawing the lessons of recent crises, we are committed to consolidating our strengths and strengthening our resilience by reducing our critical dependencies. In order to become more assertive on the international stage as an economic and defensive power, Charles Michel feels Europe needs to enhance and rely more on its autonomy. But the European Council chief pressed how Europe was not abandoning its relationship with America altogether. He went on to say, We are committed to working with our allies and like-minded partners, in particular the US and within NATO, which is the cornerstone of our security. Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, has for many years been seen as one of, if not the, dominant EU leaders. But amid ongoing talks in Berlin to come up with a government that will replace hers after recent elections, leaders like Emmanuel Macron, Italy's Mario Draghi and Dutch Prime Minister Mark Rutte are seeking to make their mark. The collapse in Afghanistan and the submarine fallout have given them fresh impetus to push Europe to develop a separate military capability. With France leading that charge, the summit in Slovenia continues.